welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to make an advanced mixamo animation right here on the screen is an example by little sue all credits to her this is her instagram account at i am little sue Basically, it is a animation that you don't have to actually animate. It's already made for you and it'll look super smooth exactly how you want it and you can do pretty much any animation. Um, but the one I'm gonna be showing you today is the catwalk. So you're gonna start off by going down into the link in the description for Mixamo.com. Go ahead and sign up or log in if you already have an account. Now, once you're logged in, go to animations. And obviously you can see I already have a character and animation chosen, but I will restart. Just completely forget that mine has a Roblox character because you can do one too. So. In the animations, search up whatever animation you want. I'm gonna go for the catwalk that is very commonly seen. So there is the catwalk walking, and there is the catwalk walk, which is like the full on walk and then turn and all of that. So I'm just gonna start with that. And so now that you've chosen your animation, you're gonna go over to where it says upload character. Then you're gonna click select character file and then find your character file that you should have saved from Roblox Studio. If you didn't or you don't know how to do this, please watch a GFX beginner tutorial and learn how to make GFX before you do this. Then find your character and find the OBJ file and then click open. Now it's gonna upload your character. This should be pretty quick. It might take a little while. Then make sure that your character is facing towards you. So use this little rotate on Y axis button to rotate your character facing you. Then click next. Now you're gonna place the marker riggers. Basically, you're gonna find all of these little parts and put them on the body of the character. So I'm gonna put my chin there. If your knees or any body part is uneven, go ahead and uncheck the Use Symmetry button, and then you can readjust them individually to the center of the body part. Then once you are done, go ahead and click Next. Now it's gonna start rigging your character. This might take a little while, so please be patient. Once your character is fully loaded in, you will get this little animation pop-up. And if you get this, it's a good sign, so just go ahead and click Next. Now it should load in your character in the animation that you want. So you can edit this catwalk as much as you want, lower the sassiness, stride, overdrive, character arm space, and the trim. But I'm just gonna start with this. Then you can go ahead and click download. I'm gonna keep the de default settings, but feel free to change them to whatever you want. Then go ahead and click download. It's gonna save to your files as catwalk.fbx. So now it's time to go ahead and open up Blender. All right, so instead of opening up your rig as you normally would, you're just gonna use the default Blender file. So you're gonna open this page, click anywhere besides the main box. Then delete this light and delete the cube and click X and then hit delete. Now you're going to go up to file, import, and you're going to go down to FBX file format. Then find your character in your downloads and click import. Once you've imported, you might be like, well, where's my character? Where did it go? So basically your character is way too small. So you need to go ahead and click the little scale tools and change them to one. Make sure every single scale is at one. Then your character will be the perfect size and it will fit perfectly. So now we're gonna wanna go ahead and adjust the camera. Go to view, cameras, and active camera. Then drag up your little animation keyframe thing. Then I'm gonna change my tool to tweak and select the camera. Then move your camera to wherever you want it to start for the animation. I'm gonna start it like right here. 
Ignore the little cone on top of your character's head, that will be gone when you render, so just completely forget that exists. Then, once your character and camera is how you want it at the start position, go ahead and click I and hit low crop scale. Then watch the animation all the way through, right until the point where your character turns, and reposition your camera again. Alright, so now it's time to add the background. You can use an HDRI or you can use a room model background. I'm just going to be using my room model for this demonstration. Let's go up to File, Import, and your normal OBJ file. Alright, once your room model finally imports, you can go ahead and reposition it to exactly where you want your room model to be in proportion to your character. Okay, so now my room model is positioned exactly how I want it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my HDRI for some lighting. Now you want to change the character texture because obviously you don't want a gray character. So go ahead and make sure you are selecting the body part that you want to add a texture to. Then go ahead and go to the shading tab up here. Then go ahead and click new. Then zoom out and click shift A and type in image texture. Then on the nodes, connect the color circle to the base color circle and open up your character texture. Basically in the layout tab, you're gonna select any body part, then go back to the shading tab and then click new. And you're gonna keep doing this for every single body part. Once you've added your shading to all of the body parts on your character, you're gonna go ahead and go over to your little printing camera icon, then scroll down and change the file format of a PNG to AVI RAW. Then you can choose a spot to export. Lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and add some light. Set up to go, go ahead and click render, and then hit render animation, and it's gonna start rendering. This might take a while. 
it really depends so i recommend using ev to render not cycles because cycles will take forever um yeah here is my finished result that i edited i am very happy with how this came out and i hope you all found this video super helpful thank you for watching leave a like subscribe and comment if you enjoyed i love you so much bye cookies